Well, I think the bottom line with this, with Anquan's situation as a football team is, A, we respect his, his, deci his decision. Um, that said, uh, we adjust. That's what we do. Uh, that's what this league is about, adjusting on the field and adjusting off the field uh, with our game plans. Uh, and, and so, you know, in this league, been in this league and around this league for around 20 years, I've learned not to be surprised by anything. You know, that's, that's really the, the core of it. And as a football team, we adapt. Um, you know, th these players, this football team is, is, uh, has adapted before and will continue to adapt and, and show grit. That's, that's uh, the, a hallmark of a good football team. So I've been extremely proud of the way uh, everyone has done that all through preseason. Right. No, I mean, the guys, the guys, they understand that. They, this is, these are professional athletes. Uh, they understand that. I, I like the room. I still like the room. I said that before, and, and I'll say it again. I like the room. Uh, the guys in the room know that there's an opportunity for for another guy to step up, and that's again what happens in this league. It's a NFL is a is a league of opportunity. Uh, in this case, for a player to step up and and show us what he can do. I really liked what I saw the other night from Brandon Riley and Dakeel Shorts, and and they continue as young players to show uh, the ability to catch the football in traffic. Um, so. Hey, you know this is this is it. we're looking at this as an opportunity, and and I'm sure those guys are as well. We we really again, you know, it all starts with, and I mentioned this the other day. Ironically enough, it all st starts with the word respect. We respect uh, Anquan's decision. We respect our opponents. Uh, we respect the process. I mean, that's that's a healthy word, right, for a lot of parts of life, and this is a part of life that um, Anquan has decided to to go on and and. Uh, be done with his playing career. So, um, you know, that's that's all part of becoming um, and transforming uh, the young men on our football team, that this is a part of life. And we move forward, and um, and you do it with positive energy and an outlook for finding the next opportunity. Well, I'm, I've got a lot of experienced guys. We've got a lot of experienced guys in this football team. Uh, in that room uh, is Jordan Matthews. In that room is Andre Holmes. Um, We've got some young players in that room. Yes, we've got some young players on this football team. Absolutely. That said, we've got, we feel, enough leadership on this football team from the players I mentioned earlier and some others. We're developing. It's one thing to have uh, leaders on the primary level of the football team. It's another thing to develop leaders under, underneath of those primary leaders. And that's what we as football coaches, as teachers, as developers and men, uh, that's what so we're here to do. You know, that's, that's a fair question. Uh, two separate two separate uh, entities, two separate uh, decisions altogether. Are you, is there any part of you that's missed that two weeks ago you looked like you was all in and now you're retired? Again, I want to go back to what I said before, respect. Um, you know, uh, we respect that. We respect his decision. Um, and obviously things changed between uh, the minute he walked in the door and, and then the last couple of days. So, um, you know, we respect his his process and what he went through to get himself to, to where he was. So, um, Anquan's one of the best football players, one of the best wide receivers to ever play the game. And uh, really ad ad admire um, his, what he does off the field and in, in, in the community um, over the course of his career. So, um, you know, just we appreciate everything that uh, he did while he was here and we wish like we said the other day, you know, both Anquan and his family are the best moving forward. Been around this league a long time as well, so Tyrod knows that that you adjust, and uh, and so Tyrod, um, just like the rest of our football team, is, is extremely resilient. Uh, he's adapted over the course of his career, and he really embraces those types of uh, situations, if you will. And that's the Tyrod I know, and I would I wouldn't expect anything different in this case. We're always going to look, and I know Brandon and his staff are looking at everything, uh, every position. So, um, got all the confidence in the world in, in Brandon and his staff, and and um, you know they're going to continue to to look at things that are going to help us at all levels of the roster.